name is Pierre Gustafson. Um, I do lots of different kind of art these days. I used to do art one particular kind and it sort of the muse died there and I decided to I started doing some regular flat drawing on for illustration work essentially and I thought you know I really miss composition which is what I wasn't doing with this sculptural stuff I was working on so anyway then I started doing that and designing monograms and maps for weddings and stuff that was interesting but when I'm not doing that I have fun doing stuff on my own so I don't know if you want to take a look at some of the stuff yeah this this I I started making holiday wreaths out of objects that I collected so um, the, the HO train track made a holiday wreath and the Tinker Toys, I thought I would make things that were vaguely holiday wreathy. Um, this, this is an invitation I did for the 25th anniversary of some uh, social thing that happens at the MFA. And I don't know what it is, what the function was, but it was the 25th anniversary. So they had me design something for that. So it was, this shows the grand staircase where the sergeant murals are. And the, the number 25 is being you know, spotlit as it goes up the stairs. Um, this particular piece shows the sketches on the outside here of the finished work, which is on the inside. So part of the fun is matching up the sketches to on the outside to which thing is on the inside. So uh, this is a mon uh, coat of arms I made for our family, Lake Home. So, and here's the 25th anniversary that went to that. And these are the sketches that go into the thing. So it was sort of fun to, for this particular show uh, to exhibit both the sketches and the finished product. I thought, well, what if the Fabergé egg business guy Carl Fabergé was in the was kept on by the Russian communists to make Easter eggs for the Russian presidents. What would he do? So here, this is the Sputnik egg, and um, I had a friend that you playing tunes for everyone. I was hello. I I and I had a friend that speaks Russian, so he told me what the Russian words were for Sputnik, <laughs> and this one says K Fabergé. Uh, in Cyrillic, like a red stamp, and uh, St. Petersburg is crossed out and Leningrad is written <laughs> in its place. So it's just, and I, and I thought that by framing it in this sort of plain looking thing, looks like this could actually be in some museum in Moscow somewhere. One of my neighbors right. had a piano that they were throwing out, so I grabbed all the hammers and made a wreath there of the piano parts. This one is a wreath for the meth lab or something. So there are these uh, vials or beakers that have the green stuff coming out. And so it's just, it's sort of hard to see it from that angle, I think. You have to sort of look head on. Did you say meth lab? Meth lab is held together. And then the, with, in this particular shtick, we'll call it, I, I, the wreath was one thing and the bow was a different thing. So sometimes it was, wire versus the HO train track. Sometimes it was the color of the, of the uh, stuff. I don't know. Oh. Cat's name is Tina, or that's for short. Her, her full name is Quarantina. Well, this is Piers, an example of Piers' earlier work where he would make real things using paper. So everything from ancient ruins to overcoats, raincoats, boots and shoes. And, you know, some people would collect his work and you'd open the closet and there would be the shoes or the coat hanging. And um, he then got really interested in calligraphy and did a lot of calligraphy maps and just 
images. And so then he's always evolving. Like now he uses the computer and does things on a pad. Again, have Joan or someone in the, on the first floor when you get back there going back to the main building ask to see the mail room and just say, Pierce said, I could see the mail room. So they'll, they'll let you in and they'll let you see it. But it's, it's all around you at, at sort of this height, completely around the inside of the room. Well, I'm a male, so they should let me in there. Okay, good, good. <laughs> So I got I got the, this from uh, Jim Wright. He he I would I would get uh, old picture hanging wire from him from his uh, rest, painting restoration business, and I he had these things, and this was part of a Victorian way of hanging a portrait. It had this fancy tassely bit, so I used this is the bow for the wreath here and the wreath is all made of nasty burlapy awful looking rope and then the fancy rope is the bow. <laughs> and uh, i sold a lot of wreaths uh, in the years past but not so many recently but here's the the so it's, it feels to me like you're inside a sandbox that's 12 by 8 feet or 6 feet or however big this room is. So again, the DeWalt, the Milwaukee boxes, the rigid boxes, the uh, Mikita. No, I mean Mikita when it's down here. So how did they, uh, who asked you to do this in the... No one asks, I just do it. Nice. <laughs> you, you just said, a, I just, I, I this make, needs some... I make my own rules. No, I, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the people have to, so far, like it, so it'll come down maybe or something. I don't know why it would. Thank you so much, Pierre. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye now. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, bye now. Thank you.